can even talk without punching each other out. My guests today say they're ready to do battle, and they're ready to battle it out for the ones they love. Uh, Jolene says, she says three's a crowd in her home. Jolene, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm here to kick a bitch's ass. Oh. oh. Thank God you chose our place. Why, why who, and why? Why? Um, I've been with this guy for quite some time. I'm madly in love with him. Oh, okay. Um, he's been the world to me. I've been in bad relationships. Yeah. And now I found him. My kids love him. He's great. He's awesome with them. My 14-year-old's been asking him to be a stepdad for many, many, yeah. as long as he's known him. And uh, turned around, and everything was going great. Um, this girl. Supposedly a friend of mine um, was got kicked out, became homeless, so she has two kids. I have a great big heart, so I says, come on, stay with me, live with me, I'll help you out. She was an alcoholic. Um, she started going to AA meetings. I started watching her kids while she went to AA. Um, and I go to school, and I've been suspecting that, you know, something's going on while I go to school. Have you confronted them? Have you... Uh... I've confronted them. And what do they say? They've turned around and told me nothing's happened, nothing will happen, that uh, they can't do that to me. Um, oh. so pretty much I... the same old stories that everyone tells me. Oh, but you still suspect it? Yes. All right. Well, let's meet her. Here is Donna. <laughs> Jolene, yeah, I've been sleeping with your fiance. And I want him. You can't have him. I'm going to take him. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I, he's, he's my man. And I've been sleeping with him for a while now. And that's how I feel. Oh. No, he's my man. He's coming home with me, not you. He's mine. You, you don't even know anything about it at all. Me and him seriously belong together. I told you once before that I wanted a man like him. And you know what? Now I got one. Yeah, that's all you've been it saying. It is him. Does he say he wants to be with you? Yes, he tells me he loves me all the time. Then why is he living with her? Because he has no place to go right now. So it's just... It's just it's... Do you feel a little bit bad? I mean, she was nice to you. I do feel bad, a little bit, but not much, because I have always looked <laughs> for having a man to take care of me yeah. and stuff like that. And Are there yes, no she other was... men around other than her boyfriend? There's men out there, you know, but ain't none of them ever been there for me and my kids. It's always been just me. They only yeah. want me instead of my kids. Yeah. And I finally found somebody that can actually look forward to being with me and my kids at the same time. He always helps me take care of my kids and carry them to the car. And when I need a place to go or something, he, he, he takes me and stuff. Do they, your kids don't walk? Yeah. yeah. They walk. Oh. Uh, they both are, but they like, they like guys and stuff, yeah. you know? They yeah. want somebody there for them, too. They don't always be with their dads. And what does, what does he say about her? He did love her at first and stuff, but he's never really been with her because the simple fact, he, she knew the way that he felt before about wanting to be with a thinner girl, somebody that takes care of themselves, you know, that well, is great with her kids. Let's find, okay, uh, well, let's find out what we're talking about here. We have the scale. Yeah. See? All right. Sit down slow. Don't bounce on it or else it'll go crazy. No, okay. Sit down real slow. Well, first, we got to see who's thinner. 
Go ahead. <laughs> Jerry, this one weighs 240 pounds. Yeah! Oh, oh. down slow, don't bounce on it. Jerry, the whore weighs 160 pounds. Talking here with Jolene and Donna. Jolene is uh, unhappy and has reason to be because you obviously have a very good heart. You you have a boyfriend. You've been with him for over a year, yes, about sir. a year. Okay, and uh, and you, out of the kindness of your heart, you you let uh, Donna stay with you guys because she needed a place. And you turn around, in fairness, Donna, and you go and start sleeping with her man. Yeah. And obviously she's hurt. Donna, what do you want to say to Donna? I put my heart out for you. I've been there for you for everything. I, I believe, you know, I believe that you have done that and stuff like that, but you know the life rough that I've had. The, what about it, mine? It, it's been really rough. And I've been taking care of myself. I've been in and out of foster care. I have two different baby dads. They don't really have nothing to do with my kids. And I, I, I just can't. I, I know that I can do it on my own, too, but I need a man there with me, and he's great with my kids. He's always there. He takes care of my kids as if they was his own. You what? think that you're fat all the time. You never do your makeup. You're always lounging around. Where'd you get you that idea? Let's yourself. meet Dan. Let's bring Dan out. 